Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another audio commentary done by yours truly, Frank. Um, this is going to be set five, the ace match of STX versus Hwaseong Oz. And uh, who else would be playing other than Jadong in an ace match, right? <clears throat> I couldn't see them really sending out anybody else. Uh, so, yeah, that's who it is. And he's playing against Modesty. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure this is necessarily the best choice, but, uh, I mean, yeah, but it's STX. I mean, they don't have really that great of players, so you never know. Maybe he'll, maybe he's got some tricks up his sleeve that he's been training for. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna send in a player, you should better, you should probably send in somebody who just has one strategy worked out to beat Jadong, because that's... That's really all you can do. Um, this map is God's Garden. Uh, this is a Zerg versus Zerg. I missed those colors, so I'm going to have to check it again. But uh, regardless, um, shit, I actually have to open this up with my thumb. This is going to be fun. Uh, anyways, uh, son of a bitch. Okay, anyways, if somebody noticed that in my vent channel, could you just tell me what it was? Because that was, like, really shitty. Um, Anyways, I'm just going to assume that uh, Jadong, I think I caught it, I'm pretty sure I caught it, and I think Jadong is in the uh, top right position, and uh, no, perfect, I love it when they do this, awesome. Okay, so uh, Modesty is the red player in the uh, top right position, and Jadong is in the bottom right, thank you. Um, okay, so <clears throat> in this matchup, I mean, 12 pool is... Uh, or I mean, sorry, 12 hatch is a pretty uh, pretty strong opening just because you have the base behind your base and uh, what have you. But I've also seen Jadong open with a 9 pool uh, on this map, and uh, he did extremely well with it. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's actually what he's doing right now. He's, he's opening with uh, the 9 pool. So, <clears throat> that's, uh, yeah. He, uh, but then again, it's also Jadong. Like, no, no matter how you look at it, it's he's probably going to win. Uh, it's a Zerg versus Zerg. Uh, we're going to hope here that for uh, Modesty's stake, stake, for his stakes, yeah, uh, for Modesty's sake, that uh, that he uh, he goes for the 12 pool rather than the 12 hatch. Oh, God, it's over. Okay, so uh, GG at this point. Um, yeah, this is, um, oh, God, this is not looking good at all. Um yeah, this is uh this is pretty much the rock paper scissors to win. It's like uh yeah, it's like Jadong's got a pair of scissors and uh, Modesty's just got a, a measly or pity pitiful sheet of paper and it's just not oh god, this is just not good. Um anyways, he's throwing down his pool now. Modesty's throwing down his pool now, throwing down his gas and uh even the thing is even if he fends this off, I think Jadong's tech is just going to be so wildly ahead of uh Modesty that it's just it's just not gonna matter, you know what I mean? It, like he'll, J Dong's either gonna win it now or he's gonna win it later. Um, that's that's what I feel, anyways. As far as uh, this is <clears throat> this is looking, if Modesty can pull it out though, um, yeah, like I mean, I mean, if he defends, he's still got a shot. He could always throw up some. Uh, Oh god, and Jadong's going actually in the wrong direction here. So this is this is helping Modesty even further. But if Jadong, uh, <clears throat> if Jadong. Sorry, if Modesty throws up some uh, some spore colonies, then it could be a very, very good position for him. But uh, at the same time, for some reason, I just feel like Jadon could just dodge the spore things, and uh, he'd be he'd be all right with the kind of micro that he has. Um, now Jadon realizes <clears throat> that he was heading in the wrong direction. He had an Overlord spot that out for him, um, and it looks like Modesty is going to have to block his ramp here. He's going to send up these. Uh, these drones, but uh, I don't know how well that's going to work out. He finally has Zerglings out in the field, but not enough. Jadong has, has about double the amount of Zerglings. Now he's got he's got even more now that he picked off two Zerglings without taking any casualties of his own. Picking off a drone, picking off two drones, picking off uh, some more Zerglings, just surrounding those Zerglings beautifully. And now he's just microing around this drone line. This is not where you want to have to fight. You do not want to fight on your, uh, your drone line. This is not a good position for him, uh, for Modesty. And uh, <clears throat> apparently... Uh, this was not a modest build for him. This was just an extremely, uh, not extremely, but it was kind of an audacious build to uh, go for a 12 hatch against Jadong, to, complete, to be completely honest. You want to go for a 12 pool just to be uh, safe against uh, most builds. 
but uh, because Jadong is an aggressive uh, player here, and uh, yeah, the Spire is coming up. Modesty doesn't even have his layer up, so uh, the best he could hope for is to get that evolution chamber down, which he can't afford because he can't spend the drones. And uh, yeah, just this huge micro fight going on here, and it looks like finally Modesty has picked up the advantage in uh, Zergling numbers, so he might look to counter here. But at the same time, I think yeah, wow, look at this micro, Jadong separating these two Zerglings to force Modesty to not counter as quickly as he would have, and uh, this is just awesome micro i have to say uh the splitting of the forces um an extremely extremely good uh tactic here and yeah there's the uh the creep calling and going down the sp the uh, evolution chamber and uh he's gonna have to put an evolution chamber down on his natural if he wants to keep that sucker alive but uh, i don't think that's gonna happen mutalisks are not on the way yet but they will be i think uh jadong's just gonna save up some of uh, his larva to to get out those mutalisks and he's just fending this off extremely well you know what's going to happen here also i think if he fends this off well enough which i think being jadong he will be able to do yeah just running back and forth here doing a really good job um i think if he fends this off he might even be able to counter with the zergling so he'll have the zergling and the mutalisk advantage uh the tech advantage the everything advantage and he can even take his uh his natural if he wants so um yeah there's oh i thought the evolution chamber was already going down i am sorry he might have canceled it but i saw something going down i'm not sure uh now oh he put down a sunken what the <clears throat> i don't even know what's going on here what like what has this world come to um <clears throat> and some idle drones just chilling there not oh my goodness and there come the uh the mutalisks from jadong or sorry that was jadong's base wow i just lost my mind entirely that was jadong's base with the sunken oh god um but the mutalisks are uh, doing a j good job fighting these uh these zerglings off um i would hope so anyways and the sunken colony is now picking off uh the uh, zerglings at a pretty quick rate and the mutalisks are doing a good job also obviously being in the air um so yeah there's the spore colony going down for modesty and yes there's some drones going down for modesty also let's see if he uh, jay dunk can pick one off no doing a really good job actually microing there uh saving all of his drones uh really good job to be completely honest um and yeah, just sending one mutalist to pick off a, uh, a random overlord and using the rest to, uh, or no, now just regrouping, <coughs> using the rest to just gather up there. I think uh, Jadong should, yeah, definitely <coughs> go around picking off the units that he can, like the overlords, the things that can't defend themselves. Like uh, <coughs> sometimes on Sunday afternoons, I go around trying to find uh, children sitting in uh, cr um, in their uh, little carrier things there. Their their push carts or sometimes if they're on swings i get a really good kick if you use the momentum of them swinging into your foot you get a good shot off on their faces but uh anyways um <coughs> the uh the uh <laughs> good time for my event to crash uh Anyways, my the uh, mutalists are go doing a good job here, running around, picking things off, and uh, I don't think, to be honest with you, that uh, Modesty has any chance here. Even if he fights all of this off, if he defends, if he, uh, if he, f you know, if he, if he fights all of this off, he's still going to be in an awful position because he's not going to have the drones to match up with Jadong. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's just not looking good. Um, I don't, I really don't know what else to say here. Uh. Jeez, um, I'm gonna try to fix my my vent here while I. There we go. Yeah, so I I just yeah I don't think Modesty's got a, uh, any shot at this. Um, Jadon can literally yeah Jadon even has Zerglings in the natural of uh, of Modesty's base here picking off a hatchery. So once he picks off that hatchery over the spore colony, just <laughs> I don't even know. You don't even need the spore colony gone to be honest with you. Just maybe make it more easy, make it easier rather to uh, maneuver his uh, mutalisks around, not having to dodge all kinds of things. Um, yeah, going to, going to try to pick off this evolution chamber. Doesn't really have to. Um, doesn't need to. Excuse me. Use the uh, the zerglings to do it either. He can just sit there and hold position. The. Uh, um, yeah. He. Oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> this is. I don't even know what to think of this. Like, what? Why isn't he GGing? Just stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Oh, this is awful. Oh, my God. He's going to be left with zero zero drones. Why haven't you GG'd? You just want to pout? <laughs> Why is he pouting? Stop. Get out of this game. Unless, like, I don't even know. Unless the Overmind just calls in the, I don't even know, something. Like, a couple of his uh, swarms to come in and help him out. I, even then, I don't think he'd 
they would, could micro as well as Jadong. I don't think that Overmind has the good uh, good enough micro to beat Jadong. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, it. Looks like that was Jadong's 23rd win there. So uh, in the pro league, whereas some players actually have like two or three. But uh, GG, anyways. Um, I'll see you in the next series. I'll tell everybody what it is. But uh, for you YouTubers out there, it's um, you'll find out anyways. <laughs> GG.